Hi everyone, just a short video to show you uh, that my plugin is now working uh, on ZBrush 20 24. So Cut and Keep Point Master is working on it. It was actually working before, uh, even with uh, no update, but I make some change to, to be sure everything is clean. So basically, uh, this is a new file, so uh, underscore 1.2. It's still free for any uh, previous um, owner. Uh, so you can uh, download it from a station and it will be free or the price didn't change for the new uh, new buyer actually uh, to install it uh, nothing change um, max and zbrush 24 uh, 2024 sorry the startup zplugs uh, 64 so here uh, cut and key underscore one dot two um, I just load this um, tool from ZBrush actually, it's from the ZBrush data. And to show you that I noticed there is a, a little bug actually, and for now I won't fix it, but uh, I will show you how to fix it easily. So when you update the size on this file, you can see that the Y size didn't change. It's still at zero, that is not possible. And I find that it's because this um, sub tool is perfectly uh, sit on the on the floor at zero perfectly and also that's a combi combination also the size is perfectly at two uh, not uh, two dot zero 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 something uh, so there's two way to fix it either you can move uh, up or down the, um, the sub tool just a little bit even a very very small move will fix it as you can see or uh, let me just bring it back or uh, what you can do also let's see if the, you can change the size and go back at two here yeah? and should work also as you can see so now you can choose any any size as uh, as usual so let's say this side okay um and for the rest everything works as before except the check and key uh button so let me show you so we can, uh, for example, cut here on this part, so create cutter. All right, add a key, create key, so this one, for example. And then when you check the key with this button, before it was a button, now it's no is a, is a switch. Uh, so if you click on it, you know, um, it changes the color because it's a switch. And so you can, as before, check if the key is on it. So that's perfect. And when, so this button create, create a cube. You know, this cube, okay. When you uncheck it, it will just delete the cube. Before, you have to delete the cube by yourself. But if, let's say I will make another cut here. So create cutter, create key, and this one, for example. If I say check key, all right, I check the key, nice. I choose another sub tool. Maybe I want to move my key. So my key is here, I think. Yes, so maybe I want to move it. All right, okay. And then I had check uh, the check key button. It didn't delete the cube, so you have to delete it manually. So I could make it automatic, but I mean, it would be uh, slower, so I don't think it was a uh, uh, a need for, for that. And then you can, as always, change uh, the gap size uh, if you want to. So, for example, and then apply splitting. So, everything works as before, just this uh, check in key button that uh, I modified to be a switch. Okay, let's see if it works. So, here we go. I have one part, two parts, and Parts. So everything works perfectly as before. Nice. That's it for this video, and uh, I will make uh, an upgrade, not an update, but I will make an upgrade. Uh, I hope uh, during this year's uh, to make some key um, articulated, articulated key. Sorry. Enjoy. Thank you.